Item number SCP-467 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-467 is currently located at site and is guarded by a single security personnel, changed daily. Although SCP-467 has no true anomalous lasting effects, the information it reveals can lead people with lasting effects of their own. While SCP-467 is being studied or moved, all involved personnel must have no cell phones, pagers, or other communication devices on them without clearance for testing. SCP-467 appears to be an empty phone booth, and was found in The SCP Foundation discovered it due to a legend about a haunted phone that used to reside inside the booth. Although testing has revealed the phone was of no importance, and the effects came from the booth itself. Even after the phone was removed, the booth itself remained a place of superstition before being recovered by Although there is nothing extraordinary about the booth itself, so long as a human and a communications device are in the booth at the same time, its effects are easily observed. Communications devices receive a message from somebody the user knows. This call shows no preference for friends, family, loved ones, co-workers, or even just acquaintances. Curiously enough, later examination of phone records or call logs revealed this call never happened, even though it may be observed and recorded. The caller has never even picked up the phone, in the process suggesting SCP-467 has a powerful form of telepathy. These calls divulge information that the user previously did not know, most commonly secrets and confessions. These calls range from insignificant to life-changing. A single user may use the phone booth more than once, provided that at least 24 hours have passed since their last use. It is suggested that the booth not be used for personal reasons. Addendum. A collection of some of the more notable results have been collected, and is still being formed. Test Log 467-Various Subject Nature of Call Effects Subject Class D Personnel Convicted of Multiple Violent Crimes Nature of call. Subject's mother, telling them that they were disappointed with what they had done and admitting that they blamed themselves for not raising them right. Effects. Subject seemed mildly disturbed for several hours, repeatedly asked to be allowed to contact family. Subject's request was turned down. Subject. Class D personnel convicted of homicide. Nature of call. Subject received call from victim's family, saying that they never forgot, but they were slowly learning to forgive him. Effects: Mild discomfort for several hours. Subject: Class D personnel. Nature of call. Effects: Violent outburst intermittent with hysterical sobbing. Subject was terminated after an attack on nearby researchers. Subject: Class D personnel. Nature of call. Received a call from researcher present in the room at the moment, saying he thought the subject's haircut looked ridiculous. Effects: Mild annoyance followed by amusement. Subject: Class D personnel convicted of several counts of rape. Nature of call: Victim of subject telling them they had managed to heal and grow past the crime since then, having started a family and working with women's rights organizations. Effects: Subject was confused and admitted that he was not sure how to feel about that. A notable improvement in morale followed for several days. Subject: Dr. Wrights. Nature of call: Unknown. Effects: Moderate depression for approximately two days. Intermittent with doubt regarding working with the Foundation. Full recovery followed. Subject: Dr. Iceberg. Nature of call: Unknown. Effects: No immediate effects. Two days later, began an argument with a researcher at Site 17, which led to a mild physical conflict. Full reprimand followed. Incident Report Near holidays such as Thanksgiving and Christmas, a notable increase in disturbing or distressing calls have been observed. Theory currently holds that this is due to increased family tension and urges to be nice to people at this point in time. Additionally, it was during the holiday season that the first two reported incidents occurred of occupants inside 467 receiving a call from themselves and other reported incidents of an occupant receiving a call from the deceased or non-existent. Further investigation pending on how personnel could lie to themselves, and how SCP-467 receives calls from non-existing sources. Subject, 
Class D personnel. Nature of call. Subject's own voice, describing latent homosexuality. Effects. Subject attempted to destroy SCP-467. Immediate termination followed. Subject. Class D personnel. Amnesiac testing subject. Nature of call. Subject's own voice, explaining forgotten events prior to amnesiac testing. Effects. Subject seemed moderately confused, but showed no other effects. Subject. Class D personnel convicted of multiple counts of homicide. Nature of call. Victim of subject angrily screaming for five minutes. Effect. Subject attempt to destroy SCP-467. Immediate termination followed. Subject. Dr. Wright. Nature of call. Voice was described as that of a young child. Dr. Wright shut off the recording equipment after voice revealed to belong to. Effects. Subject. Secretarial Security Staff Break Nature of Call Dr. Iceberg Effects 